Well, this video is gonna suck. Just kidding, it's gonna be hilarious. You guys like my hat? You guys like my liquor? So I'm drinking this ultimate margarita peach thing that I found in my mom's liquor cabinet, so this should be fun. Oh, tequila. And I'm gonna need it because I decided to torture myself for some reason and watch Kirk Cameron's Saving Christmas. Liberty University, training champions for Christ since 1971. Welcome everyone. I am so glad you're here. You're glad that I'm here, because I'm not glad that I'm here. I love Christmas. I admit it, I love everything about Christmas time. I love the cookies. This is some really weird intro to the movie, I guess, where he just points out random shit that he loves. I love carpet. I love the fire. I, I love the presents. I love the stockings. I love desk. I love the tree. I love the fudge. I love liquor. Are you just looking at things in the office and saying that you love them? I love the lights. I love lamp. And I love hot chocolate. What is with all of the really weird pauses? There's this one group over here that says, hey, if you want to sing your songs and do your stuff at Christmas time, that's fine, but tone it down. Don't sing so loud. Oh, so this must be the part where we talk about how horrible atheists are. This is the thing that the atheists do, right? Right? Just, you take your private stuff and you just keep it in your house. Don't let it spill out into the public and bother the rest of us. Just keep it tucked in and private. Yeah, that whole just keeping your private life private and not displaying in the public and just shh about what's important to you sounds a lot like what Christians try to do to people who are, I don't know, gay or atheists. And now a montage of really awkward long pauses. Or maybe, just maybe, someone like Santa Claus. What the fuck are you talking about? Is actually on the team? Santa Claus, now, like we're giving legitimacy to Santa Claus now too. Not only are we doing the whole religious Jesus thing, you know, we have to include Santa Claus and the validity of that because one mythical character isn't good enough. Cam Fam Studios, sounds kind of like porn. So that was the atheist dude, I guess. We just introduced the, the main evil character of the whole movie, the big, bad, scary atheist who hates Christmas. Hey everybody, that's me, enjoying the party. Cringe, cringe, hey guys, that's just me over there enjoying the party. And that's my sister, she's throwing the party. No one loves a Christmas party more than her. Yeah dude, whenever I think of a chick that loves to party, that face comes to mind. She just looks like one of the happiest people in the whole world. She looks so happy. Hey, you really stepped it up this year, you got Santa Claus. Where'd you find him? If this is any indication of the quality of acting throughout the movie, I'm going to want to kill myself by the end. What, what do you have to pay a guy like that? It's Uncle Bill. Yeah, idiot. It's Uncle Bill, says the happiest person ever. It's Uncle Bill. And then Kirk Cameron asks his sister, who is the epitome of happiness, why her sad atheist husband is just so miserable on Christmas. He's just not into Christmas this year, that's all. All right, Kirk Cameron, we're gonna need you to bring out your acting skills on this one. Look really concerned. Just give me, give me that face of just ultimate concern. Yeah, yeah, that was it, that was fine. And we can choose to be the hero or the villain. We can be the wise man or the fool. We can be Tiny Tim or Uncle Scrooge. Gee, I wonder which person in these scenarios is the Christian and which one is the atheist. My sister wasn't exaggerating. He is not into Christmas this year. Seems like their personalities probably match to me. See what's going on inside his head. Where some see youthful joy 
Others see phony smiles and spoiled bratty kids. What the hell? See what's going on inside of his head? It's some kind of horror movie of all the Christmas happiness. All he sees is just like evil. Where some see laughter and holiday cheer, others see pretense and obligations. I mean, around the holidays, you do see a lot of phony smiles and spoiled bratty kids. But then again, this is a Christian propaganda film, so there's no room for reality. Where some see festive decorations, others see perverted symbols with hidden meanings. What? Commercialism, greed, holiday junk, materialism, paganism, elf worship. Elf worship? Since when has that ever been a concern? Elf worship, come on. And why did they show a snowflake for paganism? A big slap in the face to the true meaning of Christmas. <laughs> Looks like it's time for more atheist vision. How you doing? What's up, DeAndre? How you been? How you been? <laughs> you guys in your verses. You guys in your verses. This is kind of racist. <laughs> you know me, blessed and highly favored. And? Saved the sanctified filled with the Holy Ghost and that with a burning fire. But I mean, honestly, like I do feel like it's way over the top and misrepresenting and kind of insulting. And when we see someone struggling around Christmas, we should reach out. No. You should not reach out. When someone is not in the mood for Christmas, you shouldn't try to go evangelize to them. It's going to piss them the fuck off. Ah, the car in the driveway. See, if this were a story, that's exactly where you would expect to find him. Well, good thing it is a story. This poor guy is just sitting in his car trying to mind his own business and Kirk Cameron's like, ah, knock, knock. This character needs an intervention. Hey. hey. No, he does not. Stay away. What are we gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna open those presents. The nieces and nephews and get all excited. Oh, they're gonna tear through. Joy. Right. And it's, like, and it's like three weeks from now, no one's gonna be playing with it. How many kids could we have fed? He's right though. The holidays seem to be more about consumerism than anything else. And even me as an atheist, I'm a little bit bothered by that. Not that I want it to be all about religion, but being about family and stuff like that would be nice. I wanted my iPhone to be a different color. This cannot be what God wants. Ah, oh, shit. He, he's not an atheist. All that, all that for nothing. He's, a, he's just a Christian that's not that into Christmas, I guess, because the holiday season isn't as religious as he would like it to be. Damn. So whatever, he just spilled his guts to Kirk Cameron about why he doesn't like the holidays and how it could be better spent, or the money at least could be better spent helping kids like who need food or building wells and shit like that. And Kirk Cameron's response is this. You're all wrong. You, 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 you drank the Kool-Aid. You, you, you took the bait. That's right. Kirk Cameron says, nah, all that shit's wrong. And you're the one who took the bait. You're the one who drank the Kool-Aid. You're the one being fooled, skeptic of some degree. It's all about Christmas. It's all about Jesus. And you're spoiling the whole thing. You hear that? You're spoiling the whole damn thing. It's all about Jesus. You know, like on Black Friday when people are trampling each other to get the best deal at Walmart. It's about Jesus. If you had to pick one valuable thing in all of the decorations around your house at Christmas time, it would probably be your nativity set. Nope, candy canes. We usually only think of the baby Jesus being wrapped in cloths. But the Bible brings these cloths back into the story one more time, at his tomb. Is this somehow supposed to be explaining why consumerism isn't a problem at Christmas and why it's all about Jesus? Because I don't see him getting to the point about that quite yet, but I mean, maybe he'll enlighten me, but I doubt it, but maybe, but probably not. The birth scene is a picture of a coming burial scene. What was the point of any of that? Seriously, like, okay, so you explained why the nativity scene is religious. Like, that wasn't ever debated. That wasn't ever, like, being questioned. I gotta admit, I never saw the whole swaddling cloth thing. I'm so annoyed. His mind was seriously blown. He was sitting there, he was like... <sighs>
I never did see it like that before. Guess it isn't all about new iPhones and spending money on spoiled rotten kids because of the major scene? Question mark? What's really going on here? Yes. Three words. War on Christmas. The war on Christmas. This was this was a tweet. Someone tweeted me saying you should drink every time they say war on Christmas. So this is this is for you. We gotta go on the offensive. It's like the rapper Sugar Free said, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. They're already taking away our freedom of speech. I can't say Merry Christmas at work no more. I have to say Happy Holidays. Oh my God, the freedom of speech, the Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas shit, I can't take it. I saw it on Fox News, so you know it's true. War on Christmas, it's everywhere. Okay, are they, are they fucking with me? Are they trying to make fun of their like fellow religious people? Like I saw it on Fox News, that means it must be true. Like that has to be a joke in the movie, right? They're not serious. Right? They're making fun of that kind of, like they have to be parodying themselves, but you can't tell because the whole movie is a parody. So I don't know what's real and what's not anymore. Christmas tree, not in the Bible. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Deuteronomy, I missed it. I miss some Leviticus sometimes, but I'm pretty sure it's not in there. Oh my God. If they start giving religious reasons to back up the freaking winter solstice tree, I'm going to lose my damn shit. That's a pagan. That's a pagan idol symbol worshiping thingy. You know that, right? Why? Why is Kirk Cameron sitting there like what this guy is saying is so freaking stupid that it's just hilarious how stupid it is that he's saying. I mean, yes, he's right. It's a pagan tree. It's a pagan thing, winter solstice. Why is this like so idiotic to Kirk Cameron that it's just so laughable the entire time? He's just holding back the laughter. Jesus was not born in December and we're celebrating his birthday in December. He's right, this wasn't born in December, so. Clearly it was hijacked by Christianity and several other religions. Yule. The whole biblical story starts in a tree lot. The Garden of Eden was full of trees. You see in the Garden of Eden there were other trees, therefore Christmas trees mean Jesus. When God created the world, he filled it with trees. And if you look around in the world, you see trees and God made the world, therefore God made trees, therefore God made Christmas trees, therefore Christmas trees equal God. When it was time for him to build his house and make it beautiful, God brought trees inside. What the hell are they talking about his house? And guess what he placed on the branches of the tree in his house? Lights. Am I like missing something where God like has a house that he needs like decorating help with so he brings in a fucking Christmas tree and puts ornaments and shit on it? Is there like a verse or something that I'm missing where like there was a Christmas tree? Leave a comment. Ooh, look, a kitty. Beautiful green trees decorated with fruit, shimmering with lights inside a house. That's God's idea. It's not, it's not God's idea. That is not God's idea. This is stupid. And the early church had plenty of good reasons to celebrate the birth of Jesus on December 25th, and it had nothing to do with the winter solstice. Yeah, yeah, they did. They had plenty of good reasons like, oh, hey, look, this is a holiday that's already being celebrated by other people. Wouldn't it be super duper convenient to like, I don't know, fucking steal it. Lies. By the way, last I checked, it was God who made the winter solstice when he set the planets on their path around the sun. God didn't fucking create the winter solstice. This is like everyone who says, you know, God made the flat earth and then science proves that it's actually around. And they're like, God made round earth. Or they have some weird belief that science disproves and they're like, well, yeah, God made that other thing then that you're proving via science. It was Jesus the whole time. Jesus put to death on a tree. The Bible begins with trees. Adam stole the fruit from God's tree and ate it. Trees were used to make paper that people were then able to write fairy tales on, such as the Bible. So when you walk into a Christmas tree lot, I want you to see hundreds of crosses. That is terrifying. Children, whenever you walk into a Christmas tree lot with your family and you're looking to pick out something super exciting, I want you to imagine the torture weapon that Jesus was murdered on. But seriously, it's, it's just really, really, really reaching, Kirk. Santa Claus. In the Bible. No, 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 there is no Santa Claus in the Bible. There is no Santa Claus in the Bible. Oh, okay. Hold, uh, no, 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 but. There's no but. S A N T A. Rearrange the letters. Satan. 
<laughs> I have to admit that I have done that. I've gone to stores and where they have like the letters out that spell out Santa, I've like rearranged the letters so that it says Satan because I'm apparently 12 and think that that's hilarious. You better watch out. You better not pout. You better not cry. I'm telling Tell you why. Santa Claus is coming. It's not you better watch out. You better not pout. It's you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. You just, you got the, you got the words wrong. <laughs> Really pissed me off, man. He rewards the good and he punishes the bad. Is that really, you're gonna make an argument for Santa Claus by saying he's just kinda like God. He punishes bad people by not giving them expensive presents. Now they're giving this like weird description of Santa Claus as this badass dude that kinda looks like Jon Snow from Lord of the, no, not Lord of the Rings. Game of Thrones. That's it. I don't, I don't, I don't watch that show. And the word. was God. Oh, and he's also super religious Santa Claus, by the way. Just throwing that out there. Insert random EDM music because Santa's a fucking badass. Oh, look who it is. Better? You get that out of your system? Come on, we got work to do. Worst acting ever. <laughs> I'm sorry. The slow, dramatic turn, and then it plays Christmas music. That is the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Come on. Let's go bless some kids tonight. We've got gifts to give. <laughs> Did you guys see his face? We gotta go bless some kids. What the fuck is this weird pedophile shit? <laughs> that is gonna give me nightmares. Santa is the man. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. No, 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 no. Santa is not some like hardcore ass kicking badass. He's a fat dude that brings kids presents and eats cookies and has reindeer and you know, in the stories. I don't, I don't think he's real. <laughs> I'm sure of that. I'm a jerk. Oh no. So now he's gonna come to the realization that he was wrong the whole time and he's sorry for not liking Christmas. Fuck. I'm a jerk. I was wrong all along. And now it's my favorite scene of the whole movie where he bursts back in and announces to everyone that he's just seen the light. world's happiest woman in the world face now. Looks like somebody's having a moment. Mmm. Mmm. Why must they make him act like this? It's ridiculous. God, she always looks so pissed off. Whoa, 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 back up everybody. This movie is so fucking stupid. Why did I make myself watch this? You guys should, I hope you appreciate this video because I'm like really about to. <sighs> Ooh, work, Holy Spirit. Ha, can I get an amen? I see the scales are falling off. Glory, ah, glory. Mm. Ah, <clears throat> can I get an amen? Uh, yeah, sorry, sir. Could you just act a little bit more like you're in a church choir? I swear to God, this woman looks so miserable. Why did they have to introduce her as the character who just loves parties? She looks so mad all the time, oh my God. Honey, I've been a bit of a jerk this Christmas season. Oh man, now he's gonna apologize to his wife for being a Grinch and she's gonna forgive him and the movie's gonna end and it's gonna be happily ever after. I just, that'd be great. I'd be happy with that because then the movie would be over. Bitch. Yeah, you've been a real dick. And this Christmas, I want to give you something I've been wanting to give you for a long time. Dick in, dick in a box. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I had to put that clip there, man. Like, just the way he said, oh, something you've been wanting for a long time. Mm. I need more of this. Hold on. More of, more of this. Tequila. What do you got in mind, Big Papa? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. 
But he got mine, big papa. Who fucking wrote this shit? Everyone is thinking dirty things right now. It's not just me. It's not just me, right? Big papa. Now what happens in most stories at this point? They fuck. I mean, if you were writing this story right now, what would you want to have happen? Well, I would have them fuck. Cliche kiss, right? Yeah, kiss. I was totally gonna say <laughs> they were gonna kiss. That's what I was thinking the whole time. Do the unexpected. I went ahead and just organized a hip-hop dance crew that encompasses all the joy and gospel burst and excitement that I alone as one man just cannot express. No, 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 I saw this in the preview. I saw this in the preview, I really don't want to see them dance. It's not gonna be good. No, really, I did. Hit it, DeAndre! Oh man, I got just a track for you. How about some Family Force 5? Angels, we have heard, oh hi. Kill me, I wanna die. You know how we do. You know how we do. Ooh. Marshall Foss is in the house. Let's do this, baby. Uh. Angels, we can burn on night. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. No, the dancing is bad. It's so very bad. Oh, oh, they, they whooped out the... <laughs> Come on, lady, wash the sand out of your vagina and go dance with your husband who's gonna give it to you later, all right? Stop being such a bitch. Also, I'm really curious to see what kind of moves she can bust out, you know what I'm saying? I bet she's really good. Yep, I was not disappointed. She pulled out that little, that little leg thing and oh man, this is looking good. I definitely could not do better, so good, good on you. All right, let's see if I can compete. All right, so you just pull it up. And... <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, you know what? I'm a good dancer. My brother-in-law is seeing it for the first time. And once your eyes have been opened, you can't go back. It's funny. It's like what most atheists say after they were religious and then they like realize that like that's ridiculous and then they, their eyes have been opened and they can't go back to believing in ridiculous fairy tales. But that's fine, Kirk. You can use it too. It's just fine. Everyone can use it. Ugh. Ugh. The cringe. Stop it. Oh. Oh good. That means it's over. It's over. Oh wait, no. There's one more little piece at the end. I'm sure it's real good. Cam fam, Kirk, 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 Cameron, Kirk, Kirk. It ain't James, Kirk, 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 Cameron. Kirk, 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 Cameron. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need to drink the rest of this later. I think I'm kind of scarred for life after watching that shit. I need to go to bed. I'm just gonna keep talking because I don't know how to end this. Fucking Kirk Cameron, I can't. <clears throat> Can I get a name in? Can I get holiday?